Hey, it's Russ Painter. Thanks so much for taking some time to watch this video. I really just want to spend a few moments sharing with you some of the heart issues that tend to get in our way when we're trying to move forward, trying to see that vision come to pass, that destiny that we've been dreaming about. It'll be a little bit like a fireside chat without the fire. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. So what holds you back from pursuing your destiny? You know, my passion is helping folks to find whatever roadblocks are keeping them from the life that they've always wanted. You know, deep down, we have this picture of our desired future of the life that we just know intuitively would be so satisfying, so fulfilling if we could just get there. And so as we think about that, you know, all these other competing thoughts will come up and will basically fight against you trying to move forward toward that. And so it's, it's my passion, my delight to work with people to help them discover, okay, what are those roadblocks? What are the hindrances that are keeping me from moving forward to the life that I know really should be mine? Well, the first one that we all tend to deal with is this idea of, I don't have enough time or money to really be able to do this. And let's be honest, time and money are really a big part of the process. You will have to invest time and money if you're going to go forward towards that goal. You know, uh, salvation may be free and it's awesome, but if we want to get where we are supposed to go, it's going to take an investment of your time. It's going to take an investment of some money. And so really the question comes, how important is it for you to get there? How important is it for you to know that you're functioning fully the way God created you and you're doing all that you were created to do so that your whole life gives God the maximum amount of glory. That's really the big one that most of us deal with. Then you move into this whole idea of, well, you know, coaching, ah, that's just the latest fad. <laughs> and listen, I'll be honest with you, coaching is a, a fairly new helping profession, especially in the church arena. I realize that that even though it's been around, you know, for probably 20 years, uh, it's really only just made some inroads into uh, the church arena over the past maybe five or 10 years. And even there, it's not, hasn't really developed a tremendous uh, penetration. But I can tell you as a credentialed life coach and coach trainer, that the tools, the principles, uh, the truths that we employ in helping people to overcome their roadblocks, overcome their hindrances, and gain clarity on where they're supposed to go, these, they work. They really work. This is not just a fad. This is based on research. It's based on experience. It's based on truths that are actually found in the scriptures. And, you know, I have spent a lot of time digging out these truths, and it would be my uh, complete pleasure <laughs> to be able to share with you the promises that God has made in His Word that practically guarantee your success. I say practically because, you know, we've got to cooperate with Him. We are partnering with Him in this, and it's not something that just happens automatically, as I'm sure you have found out, uh, as did I until I really began to learn about this and began to put into practice the truths and the principles that, that the Lord has given for us to, to use so that we can be successful in His kingdom. The next one is uh, this idea that it's unrealistic to follow my dreams. You know, there are those of us who are very practical, very pragmatic in our approach. And when you start talking about dreams and following dreams and visions and all that, it, it can come across as being so ethereal, so unpractical that many folks just kind of draw back and say, ah, you know, that's not for me. I'm, I'm not a dreamer. 
But here's the thing, you were created in God's image. That means you were created with the capacity to dream. You were created with the capacity to see vision. How do I know that? Because when God created everything, it first had to start in his own mind. He had to imagine and picture and vision the things that he was creating before he could speak them out. And as I said, we're created in his image with that same capacity. And so if you will choose to see and follow the dream, the passion, the, that vision that God has implanted into you, that's where your success is going to be found. Another area that many of us struggle with is our past. You know, we all have a history. We all have had failures and situations that have set us back. And many times it's painful to talk about these things, painful to, to think about them. And so sometimes folks feel like, well, you know, I don't want to get involved in this coaching thing because I just don't want to have to deal with all that stuff in the past. And honestly, coaching is not geared toward that. We don't look at your past any things that have gone on there that you know are still troubling you that's better served by getting help from a counselor uh, who can help you get free from past issues we do offer that as a separate uh, ministry but really uh, the past and all of that we just don't even touch it we don't get involved with that part of your life at all we're looking to move you forward <laughs> into a better day into a better situation so I think that's something that's important for us to understand. The next area that many of us struggle with are the circumstances of our life. We all have problems. We all have situations and circumstances that get in the way, that create these roadblocks that we're trying to identify and get rid of. So the fact that you have problems is not a negative. What it means is, is that you now can see things that that can be removed things that you can overcome you know it's the person who doesn't have clarity on what's stopping him that really is in a difficult situation when you know what your problems are when you know what circumstances are against you at least now you've got a road map you've got some kind of a guide that says here's what I'm dealing with here's what I'm going to overcome and that's really the beauty of coaching is that it gives you a wider perspective gives you other options to think about that will allow you to either sidestep or go over or completely eliminate certain problems that you have felt have been insurmountable in the past. Then we've got people who are in their comfort zone. And guess what? We all have a comfort zone. And, you know, if you are in a stage in your life when you are honestly able to say, hey, I'm satisfied, I like where I am, I like what's going on in my life, I'm not going to convince you Otherwise, this is your life. You know, coaching is really for folks who are seeing that there's more, who have a desire to go beyond. So if that's not where you're at, well, great. God bless you. Enjoy the blessing that you've come into. And that's okay. That's fine. Now, a lot of folks, when they look at any kind of program that involves self-improvement, which really is what we're talking about. It's, it's making the changes necessary so that you can get where you believe you want to go, where you believe God wants you to go. Uh, many of us, you know, we face that and we say, man, I don't think I can, I can handle this. I don't think it's going to last. I don't think I'll be able to stick it out to the end. You know, you may have tried things in the past. It's the same old, you know, cycle every year for a lot of us where, you know, we make our New Year's resolutions and then usually by the end of January, they're in the rearview mirror. <laughs> but listen, that's what makes coaching different. That's what makes this environment different. We're going to provide you with a network, with a structure, with an accountability that will really help you stay on track when things start to go a little awry, when things start to go a little crazy in your life. Having this support network, this, this group of folks that are all on the same journey together that you can tap into and say, hey, I'm struggling. I need some prayer. I need some help. We're all in this together. 
So I want to encourage you to realize that that this is not something you're going to do on your own. The whole nature of coaching and this group coaching environment in Kingdom Success Now is designed to help you get over the rough spots, to help you stick with it, because honestly, we've all discovered that our human will is just not enough. Then finally, we have people who honestly believe that this whole coaching thing, this whole destiny thing that we are pursuing is somehow not God's will. You know, there are folks that really believe that all you're supposed to do is go to church, you know, on Sunday or Wednesday or whenever, when, you know, as often as the doors are open, be there in church and just basically do what God says. Make sure you read your Bible. Make sure you do all the things that are a part of this uh, religious Christian experience that many of us grew up with. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not enough. When you recognize that God made you fearfully and wonderfully, when he made you with a destiny that will give him the most glory that you ever could, there's just no comparison. There's no contest. Your life was designed by God to do something significant in the world today. So, of course, it's God's will. Jesus said, I completed the task that you gave me to do. Read John 17. He knew what his destiny was. He knew what his purpose was. And he followed that and, and completed it successfully. Well, we're in his image. We are also those who can find and follow and complete and achieve the destiny that God gave us. So you'll get an argument from me all day long about whether it's God's will. I believe with all my heart that it is definitely His will for each one of us to glorify Him through a life of fulfilled destiny. So I invite you to really consider carefully what you would like to do with the rest of your life. Do you want to simply settle for whatever you've been experiencing or is there that something in your heart that beats and says, I must go beyond. I must have more. I will have more. I know that my life is going to count for something in the kingdom of God. If that resonates in you, I invite you to come and join us and just really experience something different, something fresh, something that is going to bring you beyond where you are now. Now that you've had a chance to think about some of the things I've shared with you today, I really hope you'll consider joining us with Kingdom Success Now. We're committed to helping you go beyond, and it would be my privilege and pleasure to serve you in any way I can. God bless.